Pilipinas at buong mundo na itay kapuso. Pairam po ng 20 minutes ng inyong hapon. Ako po si Boy, welcome to Fast Talk with Boy Abunda. This is perhaps one of the biggest days in the universe. But before we talk about the universe, uh, congratulations muna. Mabuhay po the men and women behind Volsos 5. Congratulations. Nag-pilot episode po kahapon. And I'd like to say we had uh, Voices 5 kahapon dito at napakaganda po ng ratings. Uh, combined aggregate uh, aggregate ratings, ibig sabihin po, uh, Naitai Kapuso, GMA7, GTV, Digital, it got 14.6%. Congratulations. Yeah. Sa GMA7 pa lamang po ay 11.8% na. Congratulations. Yeah. Mabuhay po yan at uh, tuloy-tuloy po natin suportahan ng Votsos 5. Samantala, uh, Maha Salvador and uh, Maine Mendoza are good friends. Uh, todo suporta sa Maine Mendoza. Kay Maha Salvador is doing a show called Open 24-7, which will replace uh, the show of Maine, which is called Daddy's Girl. Uh, nakasama niya si Vic Soto at uh, si Jose Manalo. And uh, the nice thing is um, Maine sent a message saying, uh, I'm, 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 I really believe that you deserve uh, the blessings because you're one of the most hardworking girls I know in the business. Congratulations, says, enjoy, choose this with bossing. To you girls and to all members of the cast, congratulations, mabuhay po kayo. Yes. Maraming maraming salamat po. Napakaraming tao dito sa studio. This is probably one of the biggest crowds we have in the studio. And I think this can match, this can match uh, the coronation of King Charles. <laughs> because we have a queen today with us. But I'd like to say hello to Olivia Kido and all our friends who are here in the studio. I'm talking about a girl who changed and who continues to change, not just the world, but the universe. Siya po isa sa pinakamayaman, isa sa pinakamaganda sa universe. And I'm talking about the owner of the Ms. Universe organization. Please welcome Naitai Kapuso, Ms. Anne Jakapong Jakra Juratit. Thank you for being here. <laughs> I love that. Mabuhay. Oh my God, thank you. Hello, thank you. GMA. Hello, the Philippines. Hello, the universe. <laughs> can, can, can we do that again? I was about, I was about to say, uh, Miss Anne, can you just say hello to your millions of uh, Filipino fans around the world? How do you say that? I want to learn how you say that. Hello. Hello, the universe. I love that. Yes. The universe. Yes. I love that. Yeah, well, what about the energy, energy, energy? The energy is energy, there. Energy, energy, energy. Send out a positive energy. I know. To everyone in the world. Wow. Yes. Okay. Miss Anne, please. Thank you for having me here. Thank you. Please, it's our honor. It's our honor. Okay. Um, let's do fast talk. You ready? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, let's try doing fast. Tito faster. boy, thank you so much you're for welcome. having me. Anyway, you're not Tito. Because you're full of energy. You're thank still you. young, good looking. Thank you. Yeah, you deserve to be mm, brother. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ms. Anne, we have two minutes to do this. And uh, our time begins now. Hello, universe, or hello, my love. Hello, universe. Beauty or power? Power. Fame, f fortune. Fashion. Career or love? Career. Makeup or no makeup? No makeup. Traditional media or social media? Social media. Beauty rest or beauty test? Beauty test. Your beauty icon? Beauty icon. Your leadership icon? Leadership. Uh, your favorite movie? Uh, Julia Roberts. Any movie. Okay, your favorite beauty queen? Uh, Katrina Gray. Most handsome actor in the world? <gasps> My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Bradley Cooper. <laughs> okay, first thing you do when you wake up. Um, go to pee. <laughs> <laughs> Last thing you do before going to bed. Uh, drink water. One thing you can't live without. Um, my scarf. Biggest misconception about Miss Anne. Um, mm, mm, I'm lousy. <laughs> okay, your biggest achievement. Being a mom. Your motto in life. Mm, role model. Motto, you're saying. Uh, oh, in life. Oprah Winfrey. Okay, all right, you wish for humanity. Wish everyone 
to have the kindness. Jealous or fabulous? Fabulous. Give or take? Give, of Make course. Make or break? A break. <laughs> In one word, describe Miss Universe. <laughs> Beautifully confident. What makes you cry, Miss <gasps> Anne? Movies. What makes you blush? <laughs> A man. <laughs> what makes you happy? A man. <laughs> Is that lights on or lights off? Lights off. Happiness or chocolate? Uh, chocolate. <laughs> Best time for happiness? <gasps> Handsome men. <laughs> <laughs> Complete the sentence. I am Anne and I am... I am Anne Chakra Chutatip and I am Hello the Universe! <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Miss Anne, I wanted to find out. I find out, what do you think about a Filipina beauty? Oh, you are beyond the standard, actually. The world standard, because you groom people, you groom, you have four Miss Universe. That's right. Yeah. It means that you really look after the academy for women, for feminist power. You look after and you pay attention on okay. the beauty page and so much. Miss Universe Philippines become so famous, not just in your country, but around the world. Just keep watching you. Yeah. Yeah, because you represent women, not just in your own country, but the standard, just so okay. high. You represent Asia also. We have four, Gloria Diaz, Marjorie Moran, Catriona Gray, and we have Pia I words back. Them. What about men? What do you think about Woo. Filipino men? They're all handsome. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> They're all handsome. I mean, you have mixed, you know, mixed Spanish, mixed German, mixed British. Um, they're all handsome. Miss Anne, I wanted to ask you this because uh, was it last year or a couple of months ago? I think you invited uh, Harnaz to Thailand and other previous winners of the Miss yes. Universe. There was a particular scene on stage where you were uh, seen by people standing and you were holding hands with Kationa Gray. And people were speculating because what are they talking about? <laughs> and you were conversing, you were talking to each other. I want to ask Miss Anne today, what was that about? Give me the crap. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Give me. <laughs> the crown. <laughs> I respect her so much. Yes. And it was my first time uh, that we came across seeing Shata. Yeah. So Ooh, I said that was the first time. You want it? Yeah. Real life here now. Yes. Yeah. I said I do. A, this is for real, actually. Okay. Get serious. Yeah. Okay. This is my first time, really. So sincerely, I just did talk to her. And I am Katriona Gray. Of remember. Course. Okay. And I'm Anja Kratutati. I come here and say. I do apologize, whatever happened in the past, but I'm so glad you are here in Thailand. Welcome to the family of JKN and also Miss Universe organization. I love you, my dear, from the bottom of my heart. Wow. Okay. But that brings me to the next question. Why were you apologizing? Of course. I don't have to answer. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Yes. So. Uh, I, because I saw her smiling. Yes, I just want to get it out from my chest. Yeah. So right now, mm, clear off the air. You're not just beautiful, you're brave. Thank you. And that takes a lot of courage and humility to be able to do that. I just need to do it. From now on, we have to work together. So just put the past aside and don't talk, don't mention about it again. At all. At all. Uh, we ended up today here on Fast Talk with Boya <laughs> And I was, I was hoping before the show, I was hoping, I was saying, I, I, one day, and this is going to happen, we would have a longer time to be able to do yes. a conversation. What, what is your concept of beauty, uh, Ms. Anne? Strength, power, resilience, endurance. Among all of them, what is the most important component of beauty? Strength. Wow. Be able to be yourself. Never give up. Everything is possible when you believe in yourself. You have to become who you are. You must know your life purpose and then fight it. Learn from it. Earn the knowledge from it. Make it into profession and become successful. Okay. That is Miss Universe all about. We would love to empower women to become the best version of themselves. We are the academy now. Right. We're not just a beauty pageant. We want it's to turn the pageant to be the platform. And having the platform, boy, means that we need to have the content. How to live your best life content. You're going to see it because we're recruiting so many people, both in Thailand and New York. Okay. You know, Miss Universe lifestyle, Miss Universe makeup, walk, talk, how to cook, how to look after yourself, how to love, 
how to keep your relationship well, and also how to look after your children. So all it's how to we are going to be one of the largest female magazines in the world okay. online. That is the concept why I bought Miss Universe, Universe organization. It's not just about one time per year event. No, we find the ambassador who can artic you know, articulate, uh, articulate the show, deliver the show, and also produce the content with us. Okay, I get that. When there was that announcement that you were the new owner of the Miss Universe organization, I, I wanted to ask you this. How was, uh, how was the acceptance or the resistance? Because any, any change, you know, uh, is, is not easy. How was the acceptance or the resistance of people within the organization and among the franchise holders around the world? Mm -hmm. How I was it? Well received. Well received. Well received. You had no yeah. problems at all. When we elevate the brand to the next level, to the new paradigm, everyone just keep listening. And I'm a trans woman, therefore I just come up with a concept of transformational leadership. It has to be the change, positive change, cannot be the same, okay? It has been 71 years old now. It means that I need to elevate from once again, pageant to be the platform. And we need to have the good content for women, how to live their best life. It's holistic, in That's other words. That's why they give us the positive feedback. They would love to stay okay. longer with us. They would love to do business with us because they know that we are the number one beauty Olympics in the world. Okay. Yes. I love that. Okay. There are a couple of questions I wanted to ask. Number one, uh, because you're here, Ms. Anne, I wanted to ask you about that memo, alleged memo, where when you were starting as the owner of Ms. Universe, where it was supposed to encourage franchise holders uh, to reapply because assessment was being done. I want to talk to you about uh, the new rules, like married women, uh, women with children, aside from the trans women being allowed into the contest. What are you bringing into Ms. Universe? Where is it now and where is it going? The answers when we come back. Dito lamang po sa Fast Talk with Boy Abud. Pagbalik po dito sa Fast Talk with Boy Abunda. Kasama pa rin po namin ang may-ari ng Miss Universe Organization, si Miss Anne. Uh, Miss Anne, let's go to that memo just very, very quickly. What was that about? Did the it, memo? Yeah, did it even exist? I mean, people were One talking memo. about it. The memo that allegedly said that uh, franchise holders were supposed to reapply. Oh, was that true? Was it's that true. It was true. But it's kind of due diligence, capability, capital, connection. 3C, we would love to see from them. What are they again, I'm sorry? Capability. Capability. Capital, and also connection. Connections. Lift them up. Actually, it's not called bidding, but it's due diligence process. And in fact, we have almost 96 countries the same. Yeah, whoever, they think they are not suitable to go with the higher standard. They may go, no problem. But we always have the new franchisee coming in all the time. Okay. Per one country, you have three, four, five companies applying all the time, and it's not all about money all the time. It's all about the capability. Who are you? You are the production, TV station, you are the billionaires, but let's see, who are you? Background okay. check, yeah? You are the bank owner, yeah? You are whoever. Modeling agency, we have a lot of them, and we have the garment companies, we have the toy companies even. So we have so many of them apply for what so many different purposes. We would love to know who you are. All That's right. all, and as a new owner, I would love to know them. That's why we get started to do the showcase all around in Asia Pacific first. I went to, of course, Thailand, Vietnam, Malaysia, Indonesia, and right now in the Philippines. And we're gonna go to India and subcontinent. So many. Later on, we're gonna go to South America. Yeah. So we're gonna do due diligence, and of course, that is not really bidding, bidding for money. All right. But it's the application to do your due diligence, to know who you are really. All right. So in December, when you do a Miss Universe in El Salvador, you have 96 countries represented. I think so. Okay. Or even more, right? Or now. even we more. We already okay. um, announced 85. And 10 of them right now, right. the rest, signing process. All right, okay. So let, let's go to the new rules. Married women, uh, mothers. Yes. Some people like it, some people don't. My oh. question is, do you care? I don't care. And do we have to care? 
we have to care about them, not caring about batchers, negative comments. Tito boy, which year are we in now? 2023. 23, right. Why do we have this kind okay. of question existing? We don't need to have this kind of question at all. Social inclusion must be here now. We have to concern about the human rights. We have them in the competition. It doesn't mean that they're going to win. Depends on the judges. Of I course. love your discussion. We allow them yeah. to come in. We respect them. We give them the equal chance, the right. opportunity, because we would love to honor every woman. I love your discussion on social inclusion, but that's very, very briefly, you talk about transformational leadership. Correct. What is it? Transform yourself to be the best version of yourself. It's not about being trans woman alone, but trans woman, when I connect the dot, I know the origin. My life purpose here is to live, to teach, and to inspire people to transform mm -hmm. themselves. I ask myself why I was born in the wrong body all the time, and my life purpose here when I grew up, I knew it straight away when I became the business owner. Yeah, the content okay. distributor, global content distributor, that's why I know GMA for so long time, 10 years right. ago. Even your owner had dinner with me yesterday because we've been working exclusively between Thailand and the Philippines for a long, long time. In terms of the drama series, your actors also came to my office so many times with my Mega Showcase so many times, and then I elevated myself to become the Miss Universe organization owner. It's another kind of content, but the content for women and LGBTQ. I asked my life purpose, and when I connect the dot, I do understand myself straight away why I was born in this world. Because I was born to lead, to teach, to inspire right. people to transform. I turn pain into power. I turn life wisdom into, you know. I love that. Yeah. Pain into power. Once again, pain into power. Pain into wisdom. Life yeah. lesson into wisdom. Lovely. This I, is transformation. Yes. And everyone needs to have that, even though you're straight you LGBTQ, you need to face the obstacle in life or the challenges in life you need to go through. Therefore, you need to have the strengths and that is my purpose of having Miss Universe organization here. Mabuhay! Yes. yes! I was about to ask Miss Anne as to what she was bringing into the Miss Universe organization since she said it all. Now, I wanted to ask some questions which were asked to previous winners in the Miss Universe. I'd like to see how you would answer them. Okay. Um, this is a question from Miss Universe 1997. You, you need to have the crowd for me. <laughs> yeah, no, no. When, yeah. when, when I do it well, put it yeah. That's online. right. Yeah, I'm the I have the cape. <laughs> Miss <laughs> Anta has the crowd. Okay, this is a question from Miss Universe 1997. If there were no rules in your life for one day, Miss Anne, and you could be outrageous, what would you do? No rules at no all. No rules at all. I would love to have the magic trip, go to the next 100 years, 500 years, and 1,000 years from now, and see how the status of women and LGBTQ would be. Therefore, I can prepare myself under Miss Universe organization and my service to serve the purpose of living. For them to live under the mission of how to do the best life up there for the next 1,000 years. Yeah. And the winner is, I am now accepting, I, I, I'm okay with third runner-up. <laughs> Here's a question from Miss Universe 1994, uh, held in Manila. And the question is, what for you is the essence of being a woman? Strengths. Insurance, power. Miss Universe of 1996, what do you think men can learn from women? Oh, we are not entitled. In fact, um, we are not the subject to your approval. We can be independent, we can be successful, but we also can respect you as long as you respect and honor us. We can be your companion, we can support you, and you can be successful because every man in the world behind the scene, you must have a good woman. Mm -hmm. That's it, and I can be the woman like that. Okay, fantastic. Miss Universe 2023. If you were Miss Universe, how would you work to demonstrate this as an empowering and progressive organization? My goodness heaven, this is the recent Miss Universe. I want to use the, the platform here to be the force for good. <laughs> I'm not a fashion designer, but of course, you know, I'm the business owner. Therefore, what I can do here, I have Lift Foundation, which gives the scholarship every year 
to women and also LGBT community. Uh, that is my force for good and transformational leadership platform. I will do everything for the organization to make a positive impact, to make a positive change to the world. Wow. 2015, Pia words back, Miss Universe. Miss Anne, why do you deserve the crown? Let's um, stand, because that's a, that's a powerful one second, question. Once again, I'm sorry. Uh, Miss Anne, why do you deserve the crown? I do deserve the crown because I'm the best, and who else you can find better than me? Um, I, can, um, I can learn, I can teach, I can inspire people, and I can, I can also earn a lot of money for the organization. Give me the crown now. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Who, who has the crown? Who has the crown? Thank you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and Steve, you don't announce the wrong name, okay? Because I deserve the crowd. It will never go to other country. It will be here and Chakra to But that was a difficult moment for Mr. Harvey, but you know. She, I, I, I remember. It was an accident. It, was, it accident. was an accident. I did check it up. Yeah, and it, it can happen. I mean, it, it's a live <laughs> show, and it can it can happen. So, your final message for your Filipino fans. I mean, Miss Anne, <gasps> say your message to all of them. Love, 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 love you. Love, love for having me here in your country, and great warm welcome, actually. Since they know that I'm going to come here, oh, my goodness, heaven, by strong media bombardment just came over to my IG, to my social media. Thank you so much. I love it. And I love GMA. I love your family. I love everyone. I love you. I love you, boy. Thank you. Thank you, you are the best. Much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Voice of La Camela de Baraka and Rod Mercado, happy birthday. Night ay kapuso. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagpapatuloy ho sa amin, sa inyong mga tahanan at puso. Please support Ms. Universe and please support Ms. Anne. And stay kind. Make your nanay or taray proud. Say thank you. And let's talk again tomorrow. Goodbye for now and God bless.